I have the Google Pixel 6 right here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to gain root access to this smartphone, as well as the Pixel 6 Pro. At least with how things are right now, we'll be needing the Canary build of Majisk in order to root this device, since currently we are running Android 12. But before we can even install the Majisk application, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. The two main requirements of this tutorial is that you need to have an unlocked bootloader, and you'll need to disable both Verity and Verification. Now I've already done tutorials showing how to do these two tasks. I've done a bootloader unlock tutorial and I've shown how to disable Verity and Verification. So follow these two guides. I'll be linking to them in the video description below. Follow these two guides before we begin to root the Google Pixel 6. Since I have already completed these two requirements, I can go ahead and install the Majisk application. And we can do this by going to the Majisk GitHub page, downloading the Canary build, or you can go into the Majisk application itself and update to the Canary branch via the update channel option here. With that done, we then need to download the factory images, AKA the firmware from Google for your Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, and it needs to match the exact same version that you're running on the device. So you'll need to look here in the version section and then match that number with what you're seeing in the about page of the settings. This firmware needs to be downloaded and extracted so that we can get the boot image file from there. So as mentioned, we're gonna to need to download the firmware that matches what we're running on our device. This is the file that I downloaded from Google. When I extract the contents of this file, I'm gonna get this folder right here with a number of files that we then need to extract another compressed file. We extract the contents of this file, which gives us this folder and it's here that we're gonna grab that boot image file. This is the file that we need to copy to our Pixel 6 and patch with Majisk. Once we have the boot image file, we can open up the Majisk app. We're going to tap on the install option here, and then we're going to choose the select and patch a file. Now we're just gonna browse and select the boot image file that we have we're going to tap the let's go option and we're going to wait for the canary build of Majisk to patch the boot image file. And you can see here, not only did everything go correctly, but we are also getting a file. It's going to be a new file labeled Majisk underscore patched. And that's going to go in the download folder. We need to take this file and copy it to our PC so that we can flash it via the fast boot command. Once we have copied this file to the PC, we then need to boot the Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro into fast boot mode. Now again, I've already shown you the button combination used to boot into fast boot mode. I'll be linking to that video in the description as well. But we can also use ADB and just use a command ADB space reboot space bootloader. And that will reboot our phone into fast boot mode. So what we need to do is copy this Majisk underscore patched file. It needs to be in the same folder as our ADB and fast boot tools. With that done, we're going to open up a Windows PowerShell, a command prompt, or a terminal in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. That's important. The file 
needs to be in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And the command prompt here also needs to be opened up within that folder. So the command we're going to type up, remember we have our Pixel 6 in Fastboot mode. It's plugged into the PC with a USB cable. And the command we're going to type out is Fastboot space flash space boot. And then from there, we're just going to start typing out that Magisk file name. And then I can simply press the tab button to auto-complete that whole file. So again, the command is fastboot space flash space boot. And then the file name of the modified boot image. With that all done, we simply just need to press enter on the keyboard and you should see a couple of things happen. You should see Fastboot sending that patched image to a boot partition. This could be boot A or boot B, depending on how your device is set up right now. But not only that, it needs to also write that file to that partition. So we're sending the file and we're writing the file and we need an OK message on both. Now with that done, the process is complete. We just need to make sure that the start option is highlighted here. It may be on something else if you had pressed a volume button, but by default the start option is highlighted. So with that option highlighted, we're just going to press the start button to select that option. And now we're going to wait for the boot cycle to complete. You can see this boot cycle is likely going to be as fast as normal. We have not done any factory reset here. So we're just going to be able to boot right into Android like we normally would. So we are now booted back into Android. First we're going to go and open up Magisk as a good way to check for initial ways to find out if Magisk is installed, which before it said installed no. Now we have the version number of Magisk that is currently installed. But if you want, we can also go into the Play Store and look at a root checker. You can download this app. And once downloaded, we can open it up, tap agree, go to get started, and we can verify root just like we normally would. So we have now gained root access to the Pixel 6 running Android 12. So remember, in order to gain root access to the Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, you first need to have the bootloader unlocked. We need to disable Verity and Verification. And right now, until a new stable version of Magisk comes out, we need to use the Canary build of Magisk in order to patch the boot image file.